What's up guys? I'm going to show you how to stream the audio from your DAW to open broadcast software using your RME. And I'm on Windows, so this will apply to Windows people. If you're on a Mac, there might be Mac videos out there on how to do it. But unfortunately, I do not use a Mac, so this is going to be for people on a Windows platform. Now, if you have an RME and you've tried to use um, open broadcast uh, software, you know that it's not that simple to get the sound from your DAW and to be recorded by Open Broadcast Studio. It doesn't work just like you think it would. You, you just open things up, set your inputs and outputs, and off to the races. Nope, doesn't work that easily. So what do we need to make it work? First of all, if you watch my other video, I did a more generic one that can be applied to any interface in any DAW. Uh, you'll need the same stuff that I, I used in the uh, previous video, but it's a little easier uh, when you got an RME. Uh, I recently discovered a cool feature that I will show you how to make this work very, very easily. Easily. So, let's get this voice meter app by VB Audio Software and also download and install a VB cable driver you'll need that. So once you have that installed, restart your computer and then we're going to need this uh, software open, VB, or voice meter. Now you're going to set uh, your hardware input to uh, one of the uh, inputs that you set on in your total mix that you pick to set your out audio to and I'll show you how to do that. So, first thing, I will show you what this loopback feature does, which is basically what does all the work for us. So, if I go to my DAW, I have my DAW here, I click play. You can hear uh, the output from my DAW, which is very awesome. And let me show you, if I turn off loopback here, you shouldn't be able to hear anything coming from uh, my DAW. Now, I'll show you where that's coming in. So let's go to Playback Devices, Recording tab. Now this is AS12, which corresponds to SPDIF A.1 and 2. And when I hit play, You see those meter, you see that meter going. I want to hit when I turn loop back off. You see, it's it's not getting routed now. Nothing's happening. Hit loop back. There it is. Back. Very cool. So that is going to do all most of our heavy lifting. But the thing is, you can't set Open Broadcast Studio to listen to this output you actually need to route this to an input. So that is where the uh, voice meter and the VB cable input come in. So you're gonna open, oops, I opened up the website. So you're gonna open up voice meter. Once you have your hard input set up here, you can set any mic and whatever you wanna use. Uh, you have up to three uh, inputs that you can set. And then over here, Set your output to the cable input, VB Audio Virtual. So set it to that MME cable. What it's going to do is, it's go whatever audio is coming into this app is going to get output it to this, to this cable input device here. All right? Very cool. So it's going to get output it to this. So let me show you. If I turn off loopback, then nothing should happen. Yeah, nothing's happening. So, Open Broadcast Studio is listening to this input, and that's where it's getting its audio from. So, let me show you Open Broadcast Studio. So I just changed the desktop audio properties to read to the cable input. So, and that's all I have to do. 
I don't have to use uh, ASIO for all drivers or anything like that like I was using in my previous video this lets me use my regular uh, RME drivers I don't have to do any weird uh, rerouting in in my DAW or anything I literally don't have to do anything in my DAW it's all controlled to total mix and if you don't know how to use total mix let me show you how to uh, set it up so that you can actually um, pick and output audio to whichever uh, output you actually want to use to to send the audio and pick it up on so I chose AS12 that's the S that's my first uh, digital uh, output on my RME you can use a.3, a.56, a.78, whatever. So, open up Total Mix, go to the bottom row here that says Hardware Outputs. This section, Hardware Outputs. All you want to do is you're going to click on the output that you want to send your DAW audio to. So, if I wanted to use a.3 and 4, I would click on this one. So, what you need to do is my DAW is outputting to analog 1 and 2. Those are my main outs. So I want A.3 and 4 to be able to hear what uh, is happening on my main speaker. So all I have to do is just, you can drag that up or double click it. And now, if I hit play in my DAW, that it is sending to A.3 and 4. And same thing here. You see this main? I have. Uh, this fader down so nothing's coming out of my speakers actually but if I turn this up and I hit play you're gonna hear my microphone pick up my studio monitor so that's all you have to do to uh, mute stuff um, that's coming out of uh, uh, your studio monitors in uh, in total mix very easy uh, to use this software so again um, what you have to do is you select the output that you want to use. So I selected uh, one and two. So and that corresponds to whatever hardware input you're using, right? So I chose SPDIF A.1 and 2 here as my hardware input. So that is why I'm using uh, AS12 that corresponds to that output. So I click this one and then I move the uh, the output up here and it works. Um, don't mind this. I was just uh, figuring out and experimenting. Oh, stuff. It's all it takes to route the audio from your DAW into Open Broadcast Studio. And it, I'm making this video because it was a little confusing for me because um, a lot of people don't go over this additional step of routing the hardware output into a hardware input so that Open Broadcast Studio can actually listen to where you're sending uh, the the audio with total mix uh, unless I'm missing a step here I don't know if I can reroute this AS12 to over here to the hardware input I haven't figured out how to do that yet but um, if you do know how to do that you know leave me a comment or link me to a video that uh, shows me how to do it I would love to to streamline my setup even more but for now uh, with total mix uh, and voice meter and the virtual cable I'm able to easily route the audio from my DAW into Open Broadcast Studio without using any additional drivers or anything like that. So I hope you find this video helpful and hopefully it'll get you making some cool videos for YouTube or Facebook or whatever, whatever you want to live stream or do, you know, um, this will get you going. So if you have any questions, feel free to uh, post, ask me, like and subscribe. I'll be doing more random stuff. So until next time, thank you.